Hello friends, I, Deepika Shrivastava, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, BTEC, from Biani Group of Colleges, Kalbar. I am here to deliver a lecture on op Open System Interconnect OSI model from the subject Computer Networks. So, let's introduce Open System Interconnect. Open System Interconnect, that is OSI model, is basically a seven layered model which is developed in order to establish a communication between two systems which are entirely different in their architecture. This, I mean to say, completely different. They both possess different hardware, different software, and different internal architectures. Two systems which have nothing in common can communicate with each other using OSI model. So let's see how they can communicate. We'll start with the initial layer of OSI model that is physical layer. Physical layer which takes the data and divides the data into a bit stream. The first function is dividing the complete line into bit stream. Then another functions of this layer are controlling the transmission rate that is is the uh, are we getting co uh, correct transmission rate then mode of transmission what sort what sort of topologies we are using and all the electrical and mechanical properties are under physical layer moving on to data link layer it is a very important layer it takes uh, under itself like it divides that bit string into manageable unit called frame so framing is done under data link layer next functioning logical addressing I want to tell you something at physical layer the data is uh, data is known as physical data unit at data link layer data is said as datagrams and these datagrams at, at data link layer are transferred from peer to peer okay so here logical addressing is done as well as Flow, flow access flow control and access control are done flow control whether we are you giving right flow like if the if we are producing and the consumer is not consuming so we must maintain a complete flow that comes under flow control access control whether the device is free or not is it taking us that that comes under access control another thing is no to no delivery of datagrams is the responsibility of data link layer Moving on to network layer. Network, la network layer undertakes routing, source to destination delivery of message and logical to physical addressing. Routing. Routing is giving a path because now the data from one network is going to another network. Up till data link layer, it was within the same network. But now, this I told you, OSI system is used to make communication between two systems which are entirely different. That means th those two systems neither on the same network nor they are having any sort of internal common ar internal architecture. So, routing uh, network layer does the work of routing like which path it will follow to go to the next uh, destination network another source to destination delivery now if we are crossing the one network we need to mention the destination network address that is done here Log logical to physical and, uh, addressing S source to destination delivery of segments is done under network layer Next layer is transport, transport layer. Transport layer have, finds its functionality as segmentation and reassembling. It breaks the data into segments because if one network uh, gives continuously produces segments of size like 500 KB, but next, uh, but another network is not able to take them. It takes the size of 300 KB. So what it uh, need to be done is segmentation. Segment those, segment those. Uh, data into manageable unit which another uh, destination network could take. So segmentation is done, numbering is done and then at the destination and reassembling is done. Next, flow control same as data link layer but at bigger level because it was within the network now it is outside the network. Within single network Okay, flow control, access control and here error control also comes under the responsibility of transport layer. Service point addressing, what does it mean? Like we have sent the data in 
word for example we send the data in word so at destination it should be open in word document so service point addressing means uh, in uh, what format we have sent the data it must be opened into the same format at the destination this is what known as service point addressing okay moving on to session layer session layer takes dialog control session and synchronization dialog control dialog control is like a con uh, dialog controller is like a head which ca moves from one head uh, from one user to another and records their statements that what do they want to say it executes them maintain synchronization and session it is also responsible for establishing sessions maintaining them and at last terminating them moving on to presentation layer presentation as the name indicates presentation is responsible for encryption of data as well as decryption compression conversion and translation all the three responsible all the four responsibilities are comes under presentation layer now i mean to say this all uh, uh, presentation lead deals with the complete presentation of the data at destination end moving on to the last layer the topmost layer of our osi layer osi model that is application layer it takes ipc inter process communication how do the process communicate with one another next network management what sort of top topologies how do the network how will find the network for free of traffic everything comes into network management next is directory services like creation deletion of directories everything come inside uh application layer network virtual terminal like if we are uh, communicating with a uh, system uh, which is remote to our location so we need to uh, take advantage of network virtual terminal whether it is reachable or not whether what we are sending is there is he receiving or not that comes under network virtual terminal other application other application layer responsibilities are like resource sharing ftp tftp everything comes inside application layer this is all with osi model if you want more information regarding this topic so please visit uh, www.gurukpo.com thank you so much